Hey, I'm uh, posting this video request of MF1 Films. He asked me, um, how'd you upload Firewire to a PC and if I can make a video for him. So, this is it, and I'm sure there's other people, maybe not my subscribers, but I'm sure there's other people that um, probably are wondering how you do mini DV since it is a tape and not a hard drive or flash base, so. Because yeah, most of the pros or consumer cameras now are hard drives or flash, so. Having a VX or whatever that uses mini DV is not like, oh, it's scary for a lot of people. So, right now I'm opening up Adobe Premiere Pro CS4. You don't have to use this, obviously. There's other things that you can use. Um, Windows comes built in with Movie Import, I think it's called. It will tell me once I actually plug in my camera. I'm going to open up a project that I made earlier on. It's going to be the uh, VX2000 test, which I'm still I'm going to shoot one more time lapse, a uh, sunrise time lapse. So you can already see I already imported some stuff. Um, when you plug your camera in, it will give you options on um, how you want to import. But for here, you just file capture. Um, actually, you don't open that up until you plug your camera in. Um, mine, FireWire ports underneath the battery, so I have to plug it into the wall to get it to work. Do that, turn it on. Turns on. Ooh. Then you turn it to um, playback mode, not record mode. Um, yeah, it's called Windows Import Video. That's the default program that's on the computer. So you don't really have to buy anything, but I added in this program anyways, so that's why I have it, why I use this. So, it will, you can see the picture now shows up on the screen. You can, in this program, you can set a time code, start at three seconds, end at five minutes, 10 seconds, and just hit end out and it will go. But for now, I'm just gonna hit record because it's easier. And I have a screwed up time code on this. Like zero, zero, zeros at like 10 different points on this. So this is easier. I'm out here. So, yeah. Video. That's um, it for now. After this is done, I'll come back. So, after you've waited however long the uh, footage that you were going to import is, and it had finally imported, then you save it, um, enter in the title or whatever you want the name of the file to be, and it will either save onto your computer, well, it will save onto your computer, it will save in different files depending on the program. Premiere Pro does... Uh, whatever your username is, documents Adobe Premiere Pro 4.0, and then whatever the name of the file is. I'm pretty sure the Windows downloader saves it to documents videos, I think, or um, user videos, whatever it is. I forget what the exact extension is. But um, then you can pull it into whatever editing program you want, scrub through, and um, trim clips, edit it, export it, upload it to YouTube, have a good time. Um, HD, or the hard drive cameras are, they're faster to transfer, but you generally don't get the same option, options as you do with mini DV. And especially if you're on a long trip, you can change tapes out, but you can't change a hard drive out. Um, sorry for my lack of upload of videos recently because it is currently downpouring out and have been like all week. It's not fun. So I've shot a little bit. I have a big edit I'm making. Oh, tons of effects and stuff and I'm entering that in a corporate rebel skateboards check them out I'm entering it in a contest with them I'm gonna see if I can win a board and a hat off them and my friends also entering the video in to uh, for his skate part in it and he's going to try and win two boards and a hat because that's the first prize for that so I'll be posting more videos shortly once it stops raining out and um, yeah, hope this helped peace